are you? <laughs> what do you mean, who am I? You blind? I'm the man you've been pelting with pieces of rolled up paper for the whole journey. I have not. I know, why are you laughing then? What's the big laugh about? I'm listening to comedy on these. It's Mr. Bean. Oh, right. <laughs> My name is Liam O'Carroll and I'm 42. And um, I work as an actor, writer and occasional stand-up comic. And um, I've been living in Kingston for the last uh, 16 years. I was partially sighted and uh, registered blind. It was um, gradual deterioration over many years, so I went from being partially sighted to fully blind. Uh, now I just pick up a bit of light perception, but that's it really. I quite like researching the streets and the names of the roads and what's on them. I go out and make notes on a dictaphone of what streets, what the streets are called and what road leads to which road and what's on each road. There are sat-navs and things now and other, yeah. other types of device where you, which can work like sat-navs, so it makes all that research a bit redundant. Maybe they're a lazy, they're a lazy way of doing it. It's, um, <laughs> being self-reliant, yeah. mm -hmm. I prefer. <laughs> yeah. It does feel like you're enslaved by your computer sometimes, I suppose, but uh, I'm aware that I've, there's material about me that's logged somewhere. I don't have any real knowledge or understanding of web design, so I haven't moved that on. I do a radio show for an internet-based radio station called Aculco, which is mainly Spanish-speaking. It remains for me just to say, please tune in to my cool radio at 5pm El Martes y 9pm. I do have an acquaintance who once expressed an interest in, in designing a website for me, um, but uh, yeah, that hasn't developed. I've asked him a few times about it, but uh, as yet we haven't made any progress on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, right. so it's like a longer um, thing because the, the logo of Colco is quite a sort of longer icon, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It seems quite simple. Yeah. It's, it's actually not a huge amount on it, which no. is uh, mm -hmm. not cluttered. So, uh, yeah, it's hard to sort of imagine how you know text can be readable to to someone who could read, you know, a sighted person. How you can fit so much on a screen. I suppose the best thing is just. Just do it and then I'll have a go on it and see how the screen mm. reader works with it. This is quite good, this. I, mean, I like the, the tactile you know, approach mm. to it. It works very well.